Hey, what's up? Uh, it's Brandon from BrandonMLewin.com and Lewin Media. What's up? How are you? Um, I wanted to come on here and share with you guys just a, a few couple tips. Uh, we'll talk about a topic, not really tips, and it, there will be tips in there, but really more so this is talking about um, newsletters and specifically for the real estate industry. And so um, my beard's a little crazy. I have to get a trend up here in the next few days. Um, but um, just been working hard across the board. But uh, so newsletters, all right, newsletters for realtors are dead. I'm just gonna come out and say it. And the reason being just like the simple, simple case for all of this is that there's too much with newsletters. The, the typical newsletter has multiple different areas. There might be um, different topics, different articles, different links, uh, and usually multiple, and not just like three or four. We're talking about like possibly five or six. Sometimes I've seen up to like 10 or plus um, different pieces or content inside of a newsletter. Um, anything from, you know, what's going on to events and this and this and that, which is too much. And, and that's really what it comes down to is that we have as a society with the internet and technology, our capacity to comprehend things have diminished. Our attention spans have depleted. We are at that stage where one certain thing will come by in my view, my peripheral view, and I will go bird or squirrel or ball. And it's the same thing in how people act on the internet. So, and especially with emails. And, and so newsletters are really, the form of newsletters are dead. What isn't dead is emails. And so what you can actually do and what is more effective than newsletters in the real estate industry is by providing specific content. It could be multiple different types of content. I've talked about this in the past, but things from like, current events, to educational material, to even your story, um, to success stories, to educational pieces that are talking about what to do, what not to do, all that stuff is really important to share with people and to do it in the form of an email. Because once you can get someone in an email, there's a couple different things. One, email is the most intimate form of communication that we have when it comes to marketing, really outside of text. Text is becoming more and more um, a, a very strong communication tool, but there's only so much you can do in a text message where you can get a lot more across in an email. Um, emails, you can do anything from uh, communicate with people, educate people, share information, share articles, um, ask for sales, ask for referrals, share stories. There's so much that can be done in an email. And also, once someone lets you in to their inbox, once they say, hello, welcome, come on in, um, you're like, what? Um, a light starts shining down on you because that is a very much an end. That is when someone allows you to get into their inbox and they don't just do that anymore. They're not permic promiscuous. Um, they're <laughs> their inbox. They are very much, um, they're, they're tight lipped. They, they vet people that come into there. And so you have to be careful or you have to be you have to provide value. So you do have to be careful what you say, but more so it's about what you say to them. And it's about providing value and being concentrated on that value you add. Cause like newsletters, you can provide value, right? Like you're providing articles and all that stuff. And really much, so much of the information that I just shared of the type of content you can share in there, educational events, so forth. But the thing is that you're focused on each email, it's focused on one specific topic. And then if you have a call to action in there, you've taken them to a link, you want them to read an article, you want them to contact you, it's one focus call to action. When you have too much, it's information overload for people. When you give them too much in one email, one newsletter, they're not gonna, they're actually gonna get paralyzed and they're not gonna take any action at all. And so by having a very concentrated, focused approach with your email marketing system um, and your email marketing approach, you're going to, it's, it's gonna change the way people interact with you and it's gonna really enhance your business um, from a real estate perspective. So just rem rem remember, email is dead. It is, de well, no, no, sorry. Just remember, 
email is not dead. It's alive and well and kicking. Newsletters, on the other hand, is dead. So if you're doing something along those lines, switch your approach. If you're not doing anything, it's time to get in the game of email and doing it more on a consistent basis. What I mean by that is sending out emails on a one, at least a weekly basis. So weekly, meaning that you're sending out something once a week, um, going in their inbox. Even if they don't open it, you're still staying top of mind. That's the key here. And if you're providing value when they open that email, it's gonna make you look even better. And so there's the 70-30 rule that I talk about, and that applies also to the email. That means providing 70% um, value added information, which allows you to earn the opportunity to then ask. And that 30% is the ask factor. So um, when you do that and you do it the right way, you're going to see tremendous results. If you have any questions on specifically how to do this, I'm not getting into best practices or strategies specifically for emails quite yet, but I did want to bring into mind that you need to shift your mentality from newsletters, if you're doing that, to emails and a specific approach with emails. So hope this helps. Um, I'm going to be providing a lot more stuff. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment bo box. Also subscribe, like, do all that good stuff. I love you guys so much. More information coming your way. Talk to you soon. Adios. Thank you.